Okay guys I welcome you all to Engineers Academy kindly subscribe Engineers Academy almost 70% uh, of the people watching my contents uh, haven't subscribed yet, yet so I request you people that kindly subscribe my channel that will help me a lot now let's solve this problem it says that the particle travels with a constant speed of 300 mm per second along the curve determine the particles acceleration when it is located at 200 mm and 100 mm these are the coordinates from the origin right so the x coordinate is 200 mm so let's say that this uh, point p is at a distance of 200 mm from the origin along the x and 100 mm along the y so and it said that also sketch this vector on the curve so now we are given this uh, y as a function of x so first of all we have to find the radius of curvature at this particular coordinates right so let me draw these coordinates first so the point p is at a distance of 200 mm along the x and 100 mm along the y axis so we are given this uh, y as a function of x which is 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by x and 1 over x can be written as x to the power minus 1 so let me write it is x to the power minus 1 so now if you if we want to find uh, the radius of curvature since we want to find a n in the problem statement it is said that the particle travels with a constant speed so if it is moving with a constant speed so that velocity is equal to that constant speed it has a magnitude of 300 mm per second so if, so if the particle is moving with the constant velocity the tangential acceleration will be equal to zero so we are only required to find the normal component of the acceleration that will be equal to v square divided by rho so since the velocity is constant we know this v this is 300 now we have to find the radius of curvature so for radius of curvature we know the equation is 1 plus dy by dx square to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by the absolute value of the second derivative of the path function so now we are given this y of x we need to take the derivative of this so the first derivative is dy by dx and this derivative will be 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 and the derivative of x to the power minus 1 will be minus x to the power minus 2 and similarly if we take the second derivative so that will be d square y divided by dx square this is d square y divided by dx square then this will be minus 20 into 10 raised to power 3 and then the derivative of this will be uh, minus 2 x to the power minus 2 minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so this is minus 3 so we can write this is uh, minus 20 into minus 2 so this will give us plus 40 into 10 raised to the power 3 into x to the power minus 3 so now uh, at this particular point at this particular coordinates the x value is 200 so if i put x equals to 200 in this equation we will be able to find dy by dx value at x equals to 200 mm so dy by dx at x equals to 200 mm will be equal to minus 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 200 to the power minus 2 so this is minus 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 multiply by 200 to the power minus 2 so this gives us minus 0 0.5 Similarly, if we substitute x equals to 200 in this uh, in this equation, we will be able to find uh, d square y divided by dx square value. So this is 40 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 200 to the power minus 3. So this is 40 into 10 raised to the power 3 multiply by 200 to the power minus 3. So this gives us minus 0 0.005. So now let's substitute this value and this value into this equation. So that will give us the radius of curvature at this particular point. So 
the radius of curvature is 1 plus minus 0 0.5 square to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by minus so uh, th this is this is plus right this is this is plus uh, 0 0.005 so we have to write this as plus 0 0.005 279.508 mm and the normal component of the acceleration is v square divided by rho so a n is v square now v is 300 this is constant divided by rho that is 279.508 so this is 300 square divided by the answer that is the radius of curvature so this gives us the a n equals to 322 mm per second square now in the problem statement we said that also sketch this vector on the curve also we need to sketch the acceleration vector so the resultant acceleration will be the resultant or we can say that the the magnitude of the resultant acceleration will be equal to a n square plus a t square. So, a t is 0 since the velocity is constant, right. So, this a t is 0. So, if this a t is 0, so we will be left with a equals to a n which is equal to 322 meter per second square. Now, let us draw the curve. So, at point P, um, since uh, this is the normal and tangential components, so we have to draw the tangent to the curve. This is the tangent to the curve. So, this will be our tangential axis and we will have the normal axis which is going to act towards the center. So, now since we have the component of acceleration which is only acting in the normal direction we have only the a n component so it must be acting uh, in the direction of the positive normal direction so this is a n vector and let's say if i draw the um, if let's say this is my x axis is at this particular point and let's say this is my y axis at this particular point. So, if we want to find the angle of uh, this acceleration with the y axis, so we can find that angle, right? So, how to find that angle? First of all, we have to find the angle of uh, this tangential axis with the x axis. We need to find this angle. So, let's say that this angle is, uh, let's say that the tangent axis is making some angle theta. So, this angle theta is we can say that uh, we can find this angle theta by using this triangle right so, and the height of this triangle is the change in y that is dy and this is dx right so we can say that if this is theta then tan theta is equal to dy divided by dx right this is dy and this is dx so now we know dy by dx, dy by dx is minus 0 0.5, so this is minus 0 0.5 and we are interested to find theta so that will be equal to 10 inverse minus 0 0.5, uh, so 10 inverse minus 0 0.5 gives us minus 26.57, so this is minus 26.57 degrees. So now the minus sign tells us that the angle is measured in the clockwise direction. So this is the direction of the angle, right? So this theta is 26.57 degrees. Now if we look into this y-axis, so this y-axis is perpendicular with this x-axis. Let's say that this is y dash axis. Let me make it y dash and let's say that this is x dash. So, this y dash axis is perpendicular with the x axis and this normal axis is, is perpendicular with this tangential axis. So, the angle between the x axis and the tangential axis is theta, then the angle between these two is also theta. So, we can say that this is this angle is theta which is equal to 26.57 degrees. So, now the, mag the magnitude of this vector is 322. Let me write that a n magnitude is 300 meter per second square and it is making 26.57 degrees with the vertical or we can say that with the y axis.
so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problems related to engineering dynamics